Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Wildlifepedia. Today let's know some facts about leopards and their subspecies. Leopards, or Panthera pardus, belong to the Panthera genus species. Leopards are solitary animals and they like to live in large territories. They are known for their agility, they can run up to 36 miles per hour or 58 kilometers per hour, and can jump 6 meters horizontally and 3 meters vertically. They are excellent swimmers too. They are most elusive and secretive wild animals, they are very difficult to spot or find them in the wild because of their fur patterns. Male leopards' territories are larger than females. They mark their ranges with their urine and leave claw marks on trees to warn others to stay away from their territory. They make sounds such as a rasping cough which they perform to announce their presence to other leopards. Female leopards give birth to two or three cubs. Mothers avoid wandering from their territories after giving birth until their young cubs are capable to come with them. Cubs are kept hidden for about the first eight weeks to protect them from predators like hyenas, cheetahs, lions and tigers. Among the five types of big cats like lions, tigers, cheetahs and jaguars, leopards are the, the shortest, but they are heavier than cheetahs. Leopards can carry the carcass of a kill that weighs more than themselves. Do you know a leopard's tail is almost as long as its body? The longer the tail, the better they can balance themselves when climbing a tree and even while chasing their prey. They can also kill prey that's as heavy as 1,100 pounds. If there are no other lions or tigers in the area, a leopard can prey on a giraffe also. The largest prey that a leopard has ever killed was a common male eland weighing in at 1,700 pounds. They are extremely strong animals, they can climb trees with their huge preys like a deer or impalas, so that they are not taken by other predators and often choose to rest on tree branches during the day. One of the unique characteristic of them is its beautiful black spots. Most leopards have light-colored skin and dark spots on their fur. These spots are called rosettes because of their rose-like shape. The spots are circular-shaped in eastern African leopards and square-shaped in southern Africa. Leopard spots provide excellent camouflage against predators in the wild and help them hide undetected from their prey. They also have black markings behind their ears and at the tip of their tails to communicate with other leopards in tall grass. Leopards have the largest range of habitats of all the big cats. This adaptability has allowed them to survive in various different areas or regions. There are nine subspecies of leopards, including Panthera pardus orientalis, Amur leopards, Panthera pardus pardus, African leopard, Panthera pardus nemer, Arabian leopard, Panthera pardus saxicolor, Caucasian leopard, Central Asian leopard and Persian leopard. Even black leopards, commonly called black panthers belong to leopard species, they have a solid black color and dark fur, making it difficult to notice their spots. Leopards can also prey on other carnivores, including cheetah cubs, foxes, jackals. Leopards may also steal the kills from other animals like lions and hyenas. Leopards absorb moisture from their food and can go for days without drinking water. Compared to lions and tigers, leopards are less likely to attack humans and rarely feed on them. However, Leopards may come in conflict with humans on a few situations like they feel threatened or scared of being attacked. What's most disturbing about leopards is that because leopards are opportunistic feeders, they can scavenge human remains and may develop a preference for human meat, feeding exclusively on humans. In the early 20th century, a male leopard in northern India killed at least 400 people. Leopards are nocturnal, which means they are more active at night. Their big eyes and dilating pupils give them a good vision to do most of their hunting in the dark. They stalk animals like antelopes and deers in the dark, killing them and hiding their prey on trees. During the day, leopards spend their time resting and camouflaged in trees or caves. Another subspecies of leopards are Amur leopards, also known as Far East leopards, Manchurian leopards or Korean leopards, are found in the Russia. Their range is small and confined to forests of a temperate region crossed by the Amur River, a natural boundary between China and Russia. 
they are the only leopard subspecies that can adapt to survive in both extreme snowy winter and hot summer climates. Sadly Amur leopards are critically endangered species and are one of the rarest big cats in the world. They are hunted for their fur and other parts of the body, even a disease called canine distemper or CVD are the major cause of these leopards' death. Next comes snow leopards, snow leopards have evolved to live in some of the harshest conditions on earth. Their thick white-gray coat spotted with large black rosettes blends in perfectly with Asia's steep and rocky high mountains. Because of their incredible natural camouflage, which makes them almost invisible in their surroundings, snow leopards are often referred to as the ghosts of the mountains because they are rarely spotted. Snow leopards are only distributed across 12 countries in Central Asia, from southern Russia down to the Tibetan Plateau, including India, Mongolia, China, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Nepal. They are also in the endangered species list. Lastly let's see about the Arabian leopard which are one of leopard subspecies and once they lived across the Arabian Peninsula. Nowadays its range is limited to isolated regions, with the largest wild populations in Oman and Yemen. Now there are about less than 300 adults left living in the wild. They are also nearing to extinction. Thank you for watching our video. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.